What is up, Elite Soul Family? So I'm back with another prophetic word from myself. Um, so this is a video that I have written out because I take notes like bullet points and I was like, oh, I'm going to wait to do this one tomorrow. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. And then I was scrolling on TikTok and a guy that I follow, he's just amazing. I forget his name exactly what it is. I think his name is Terry on there. And um, <clears throat> he was talking about how Sometimes you can't be friends with people who are directly associated with people that you don't mess with no more. It just does not work out for whatever reason. It just doesn't work out. I don't care if you talk once a month, once a year, once a blue moon. Sometimes you have to have to cut ties all together because like he said in the video and like I'm about to tell you, sometimes they might be telling people things like thinking they bigging you up or thinking they doing something, you know, speaking highly of you and they actually giving these people ammunition to do mean things to you just because you're doing well. Let me just see, hold on. And, um, is that better? <laughs> and sometimes they don't even realize what they're doing, but then sometimes some people do realize what they're doing, you know what I mean? And they're, they're playing both sides of the fence because they're just bored and miserable and whatever, you know what I mean? So the scripture for this one that I got out of my little book here is God's promises. It says, do not let evil defeat you, but evil, but, but defeat evil by doing good. Remember that again, it's Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil defeat you, but defeat evil by doing good. Romans 12, 21. So I'm going to read what I titled this as. It's called Stay Away. So stay away from anyone who is playing both sides of the fence. And I don't even mean that in a shady way. I mean in, a real, in all intents and purposes. I mean that in the most realest way as possible. If you are cool with somebody and you know they don't really rock with you 100%, you got to cut it off. You know what I mean? And that goes... For other things too, like if you're friends with somebody, you know that that lifestyle is not in accordance with your lifestyle, stay away. It's the same kind of theory, the same kind of message. If you are friends with somebody and you realize, oh, their lifestyle is not matching up with my lifestyle, how I want to live or how I'm moving. So, you know what? I just got to cut them off. And you don't, only, you don't owe these people no explanation. You don't owe them no explanation. Your life is way more valuable than giving people explanations about why, how, you make, how you making moves or how you're moving around. As long as you're living righteous, living your, your best life, and you're, you ain't hurting nobody, that's all that matters. That's why I look so damn. It wasn't close enough. <laughs> all right, so there we go. Here we go now. We're ready. Yes, we are. Um, so I put, stay away from people who are too close to your enemies. You may, they, you may think they mean well. Yeah, you may think they mean well, but they can be mentioned one little thing to somebody. Oh, you know... I keep telling you, know, y'all meek over there, you're doing this, doing that. And they be like, oh, word, ugh. And mind you, the enemy might not even been, have been thinking about you lately, but just that person just mentioned your name and mentioned how good you're doing, that gave them that, that reignited, reignited that fire in them, that evil, that evil energy. And they're like, oh, well, let me go look at this page now. Let me go look at her page. Let me go see what they're doing. And you can feel that evil eye. You can feel that negative energy. We want to still stare clear of all negative energy that we can control, Okay. So, paying both sides, um, wolves and sheep's clothing. Yeah, they might seem like they're cool, but some people know what they're doing too. They they be like, "Oh, I just said you was doing good." Hey, hey, what's the? Fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, you gotta just realize that your real soul family would not put you in those type of um, energies, those conflicting energies, those conflicting situations ever. Your real people, your real tribe will never do that, ever. It will never happen. So, yeah, I think I said the rest. If they pass on good news about you, about you good, doing good to the haters, they get mad. That, Like I said, it reignites that fire in them. So you just had to know when to say, you know what, this, this relationship has run its course, this friendship has run its course, whatever. I am the king of cutting somebody off because I don't feel like it's working out for me anymore. And I don't hold no apologies about it. Unapologetic about my livelihood and my safety, my spiritual safety, and my mental well-being. And you should be the same, okay? So I'm looking down at my notes as, as usual. So I said, when they pass on the gossip type of news, your enemies rejoice and get happy. 
Um, it's a lose-lose situation. Yeah, it is. So even if you think they you doing good, you might confide in somebody about something. But, oh yeah, he called me or she called me, and they didn't sound the best, or he, they acting like they're good but they not. Listen, everyone goes through ups and downs. Everyone goes through the ebbs and flows of life. No one is always happy. No one is always sad. Don't let anyone confuse you and let the, you be like, oh, they're always happy. Listen, I'm not always happy. <laughs> I have to pray. I have to meditate. I have to stay centered. I have to stay to myself and, you know, do what's best for me. And what's best for you and what's best for I is to not be cool with anyone who plays both sides of the fence. And it might be hard. It might call you to call to cut off. It might call for you to cut off either everyone or majority amount of people. And that's okay because what's for you would be for you. And that goes for friends, relationships, love relationships, platonic relationships, business, whatever. And they will never be fully on your side because people like that love playing both sides because they like, you know, seeing what you're doing and then see how they're going to react. And then see how you're doing, when you're doing bad, and see how they react when you tell them the good news or tell them the bad news, whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay? So let me just see this. I think I said everything off the top of the dome without even looking at my notes. So that's a wonderful. Yeah, I think I did. So just stay away from anyone who is playing both sides of the fence. You will know the feeling. You will know the energy. It's not hard to tell. And you will just know. You will definitely feel it. If you are in tune, if you are a spiritual person, if you are anointed, if you get messages from the divine, you will definitely feel the energy. You will definitely know. And like I said, sometimes these people don't even realize they don't, you know, what they're doing. And some of them. And sometimes they don't realize that they're doing something that might intentionally harm you. You know what I mean? So just cut ties with anyone who is doing that type of energy and also remember cut ties with anyone whose life is not on the same frequency as you it's only going to bring you down who cares if they say you're acting brand new who cares if they're saying you on some new you know sugar honey iced tea who cares who cares like your life is more important your livelihood is more important and everything you're doing right now to change your life and be better is more important you're going to get everything that you want because it's owed to you. Don't worry about anyone else or what they doing, what they saying, how they acting. Worry about you. And let me tell you, when you cut these two-sided people off, these playing both sides of the fence type of people off, you won't even have to worry about, oh, are they doing that to me? Oh, are they going back and telling you? You have to worry about it. Because how would they know? How would they know? How would they know? <laughs> you know, I take that. How would they know? How would they know? They wouldn't know. All right, Elite Soul family, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. My name on there, I think, is Yamik Yamik, and my name on Instagram is Yamik Elite. Um, I'll leave it here on the video somewhere, somehow, somewhere, <laughs> and you'll be able to follow me. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment, and um, thank you so much.